You know, whilst I wasn't really expecting much from the Xbox reveal, what I got was the funniest show I've ever seen. They had a lot of comedic talent, they had some brilliant stars, oh, it was hilarious. My only concern is that it was supposed to be a console revealing, not a comedic show. I guess they're saving that for E3. Now with the use of the internet, when something tragic happens, like a terrorist attack, people feel the need to go onto the internet and express their opinions to others. However, what the person says doesn't make the situation better. In fact, it feels more about them trying to spew out their hatred towards others. Morning fuckers, I got my last video taken off straight away, it only been on about two fucking minutes, if that, well. Alright the governor, you fuck him, yeah, my video was taken down, I fuck. I can't fucking believe that, fucking hell. Yes, expect there to be a lot of swearing in this video, and even though I swear in my videos, at least I don't over fucking use it for fuck's sake. Fuck. Super rant. This ain't just your normal rant, it's a super rant. I wonder if it's one weakness is commentary at night. My god, that was a horrible joke. Who wrote this? Oh yeah, it was me. First of all, morning you sexy bastards. I prefer the term Damn asshole, it. but thanks anyway. I gets up this morning, goes on my Facebook, and you've got white British people kicking off, calling us, yeah, uneducated and racist. Hell fucking oh. I'm not racist, but after that shit I've seen yesterday, and then they're there saying, oh, not all Muslims are bad. Well, it's funny that fucker, innit? Because all Muslims are fucking bastard terrorists. Well, the ones what they fucking catch, oh. Yeah, so far you don't seem to be a racist, but you seem to be more against Muslimism. I think religious intolerance is the best way to describe it. Well, anyways, I'm telling you, all us lot need to come together, all us British people, us white people. Yep, now you're racist. Get these fuckers out. No fuckers helping us, so it's about time we helped us fucking self. I'm sick of it. I've got kids who's got to grow up here. They're going to have kids who's got to grow up here. What the fucking shit is this country coming to? What? I don't fucking get it. That di- Well, not that. Them dirty bastards yesterday and he's there fucking bigging him sent up, thinking he's a fucking big man. What a dickhead. And you know what's going to happen? They got them two fuckers in hospital, un arm guarded. They don't deserve that shit. People, apart from that woman, should have got the fuck off that bus and kicked shit out of them dirty bastards. Fucking murdered him. So killing the murderer will justify the victim. I don't really know what people's perspective on a death penalty is, but really I think it doesn't help at all. No, it's wrong. They should get them on a fucking plane, fuck them off back where they come from, or fucking bomb the bastards. You're sounding like a bit of a British George Bush. We're gonna bomb the bastards and smoke them out. Yeah, we're gonna smoke them out. Really, this is the worst impersonation of George Bush ever. That's what they should do. I've had a fucking of this stinking bastard country and people telling me I am not allowed to voice my opinion. Well, I fucking am. Well, of course you're allowed to express your opinion. Does it mean that it's not offensive and it can't be criticised? I come from a military background. They're not fucking murderers. Soldiers are there fucking fighting for people's freedom and what happens they get killed on their own fucking doorstep in their own bastard country. It is fucking disgusting. Proper disgusting. And these white fuckers outrage me more than these Muslim terrorists. Why? Because they're fucking converting themselves to fucking Muslims. Hey, tell us that's what they convert themselves into, or fucking turn themselves into fucking Muslims. How dare they disgrace the white fucking race by doing their fucking religion and choosing their own fucking religion if they want fucking terrorists and fucking Muslims and fuck, 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 fuck. What the fuck is going on in this goddamn country? I don't get it. I've never been so fucking mad in all my life. If you do not agree with what I'm saying, get the fuck off my page. Get off my Facebook. Congratulations! You just used to get the fuck out if you don't like my opinion, Kurt. You win the award of looking like an offensive bitch who doesn't accept criticism. Because I told you, I'm fucking sickened. And I'm more sickened people's calling us fucking racist. This is our fucking country. We fucking belong here. Them fuckers don't. So in other words, I'm not racist, but anyone who is not like me should get the fuck out of this country. And I like to express this on the World Wide Web. Yes, you seem like the perfect person to represent our country. It's about time they all got fucked off back where they come from. Muslim terrorists, yeah? 
right? Saying they're not all fucking terrorists and they're not all bad. Well, these fuckers who have been caught have got kids. Drilling it in the fucking heads. So I decided to do this with video because it's going to be a lot more serious. So sorry you got to see this ugly mug and sorry about um, any jump cuts. So what this person is saying is that these guys may have children and they're going to drill it into their heads that they've got to do this in some time in the future and become terrorists. That may be the case, maybe it's not. Maybe they do have children, but they don't want to make them terrorists because it will affect them in the future. Here's the thing though, you still say that they're Muslim terrorists, but what does their religion have to do with anything about terrorism? I want to use an example of back in 2011, in which a car bombing and mass shooting happened in Norway, resulting in the death of 77 people, mostly teenagers. The guy was not Muslim, he was a Christian, and his reasons were more political. Sure, there might be some religious aspects to terrorism, but it doesn't mean that the entire religion is in fact terrorist. It's the people with these extremist ideologies that are the terrorists. It's not the fact that they're actually Muslims, it's the fact that they're extremists, and they want to get their extreme ideologies across to everyone. Drilling it! So they're going to be their little fucking foot soldiers, fucking roaming round in our country. That's what's happening. Breeding like fucking rabbits. Get all them bastards out. Get them fucking out. Get them gone. We want our fucking country back. Hmm, I don't know whether to use the KKK or Nazi joke. Or are they both too easy? And us lot need to come together and take it fucking back because no fucker else is going to help us. 20 fucking minutes it took on response to get there yesterday. People could have gone off that fucking bus. People who's there recording it could have gone and fucking helped him. Maybe he'd have still been alive. We don't fucking know. But these guys had weapons, so even if you went to attack them, I'm pretty sure they would defend themselves. But no. Then you get the EDL, yeah? Kicking off last night. How long did it take the coppers to get there? Bet they were there within fucking minutes. Sickens me. Proper fucking sickens me. Isn't Britain a country that should allow any gender, race, sexuality or even religion? By saying that we should throw someone out for their gender, sexuality, race or even religion, that's not actually being British, if you think about it. With that being said, this is entertainment. And if science is about why not, why can't I blow myself?